Hey YouTube, today we'll be talking about a Dell PowerEdge R740 XD. So this addition to the home lab family is going to be a storage server. I currently have a R720 XD with a 10 terabyte Iron Wolf drives from Seagate. They will be going into here. We have all the caddies that we need thanks to Express Systems this is where I purchased the server. They do amazing work back over there. They have great quality uh, customer service and they send out really fast and they package their servers very well. So here we'll take a look at that inside of the server. We have a few additions. So you have the shroud where you can put GPUs, GPUs such as uh, NVIDIA T4s, V100s, anything from server uh, GPUs that can consist of passive cooling. Uh, you can put up to 225 watts as you can see. So, But this server won't have a GPU. We will be using this as a storage server, so I'm not too worried about it. Let's take out the shroud. And then you will see that why is one CPU missing? Well, there's not really much need for having dual CPUs for a storage server. This is a six core Intel Bronze 3104, 1.70 gigahertz. More than plenty to do storage needs for FreeNAS, which is now TrueNAS. The one stick, I'll eventually upgrade to multiple or add more memory, probably up to 64 gigabytes. But as of right now, it's more than plenty for running FreeNAS and testing and doing all of the concept ideas that I have in mind. We will take a look at the back of the server. Two 750 watt platinum power supplies. This server does support an uh, AC and DC power supply. So if you have direct wiring and you need to use it, you can get the power supplies to support it. Since this is for a home lab, I'm not doing DC, sticking with AC. As you can see, we have the iDRAC, iDRAC 9 Enterprise, serial VGA, USB 3 ports, and we have four 1 gigabit uplinks to the server. So now let's talk about the rear backplane. It does remove. There are three thumb screws, slides out. And what you can put in here is another addition of drives. I have seen servers with small form factor drives, four of them, one, two, three, four, that go into here. I think Dell might have a bay for rear for three and a half inch drives. I am not too sure. So now, talking about cooling. These servers have two types of fans, standard and high performance. High performance is geared for GPUs or any PCIe devices or the rear backplane that need passive cooling and more static pressure. Since I'm only building a storage server with only the drives up front, I will be swapping these out to standard fans. There is a quite difference of air, 1000 RPM, which for a home lab, I mean, it'll be in the basement, so it's not too bad, but I do like my servers pretty quiet. Uh, you can control fans with PWM in the iDRAC, but these ones, you cannot change the PDBM, it's stuck at 37. Like R720 or the standard fans, you can go all the way down to 20% of the PWM and keep a nice consistent uh, static pressure of air coming through. But yeah, overall, this is an amazing server. We have the Perk 740P, which I've been playing around with uh, Freeness and the support of it using the enhanced HPA. There are a lot of talks and forums about supporting it. So we will see. I do have a HPA 330 coming so I can actually replace that and test it out with uh, pushing a J-Ball type of scenario, straight raw drives to the operating system, which is TrueNAS. So we will see, but overall, this is an amazing card. It does support importing virtual disks from uh, the 13th generation 
So if you have a 730, 730 XD, and so on, I mean all the 13 generations, and if you have a newer server, swap the drives in and import them into the server, you can actually upgrade and import the configuration from that RAID controller. So that's a really nice feature. As you can see, we have our PCIe uh, riser support for GPUs, you just lock in like that. For an integrated SD card module, pretty nifty. You can have a dual redundant installation. This is not recommended to use for FreeNAS since FreeNAS does not like being installed on a flash drive or SD card. There are issues about that because of degrading. So I will not use this. If this would be a server for running VMware ESXi, then I would use that. Use this or the USB slot, which is right there. So yeah, that is it. Overall, the whole project for the storage server. Um, stay tuned for any new additions. There will be a lot of new servers coming from my new home lab. So it will be a pretty an exciting adventure. So stay tuned for any updates. Subscribe, like, and comment. And also check out my personal blog website which I am working on, which is uh, virtualbytes.io. I'll put the link in the description. See you guys next time.